Hey everybody, it's Dietrich Williams with ITP Realty Group and welcome to this week's edition of Info on the Go. Today we're going to talk about something you may or may not have heard of. It's called the 1031 Exchange and it's the 1031 Tax Code. And essentially what it is, is a way for investors to defer paying capital gains tax on properties they liquidate. And here's how it would work. So I have a seller who wants to liquidate a property. Let's say they're going to sell it for $500,000. Once they sell, they may reap a profit of 400000 Guess what? The government's going to say, hey, pony up. We want some of that money. Usually it's about 15%. But if they do a 1031 exchange, they can take those proceeds, purchase a like property, and avoid paying capital gains tax. So your money stretches a lot further. Uh, now, there's some rules to that. Um, the first one being that they have 45 days from the close of the first property to list three properties that they intend on purchasing, at least three. Uh, and in addition to that, you have 180 days total to close on one or all three of those properties. Now, this is just the basic um, knowledge of what a 1031 exchange is. There's some other ins and outs, but I won't get into that for the sake of time. If you want more information on that, please contact an exchange facilitator, a 1031 exchange facilitator, or a real estate attorney, which I am neither one of those things, okay? for <laughs> So for all your real estate needs uh, outside of those two things, please feel free to reach out to me at Dietrich at DWCaliHomes.com. That's D-I-E-T-R-I-C at DWCaliHomes.com. As always, make it a great one, and I'll see you next week.